Here we have a planned academic schedule for a business major at a college. When we run our accessibility test, we find that we only have two issues that require our attention. I click on accessibility, full check, start checking. The first is the logical reading order, which needs a manual check. The second is a color contrast issue, and it also needs a manual check. However, this document is presented in black and white, and therefore contrast is not a problem. So what about logical reading order? This example shows how the logical reading order is something you can't perceive immediately. So here's how we tell. I highlight the content and drag across and you notice that it reads fall semester spring semester and then it comes down and reads over here on the first course under fall semester what it's doing is it's reading from left to right top to bottom but what we needed to do in this case is to read fall semester and then the course and the credit mount then this course and the credit amount and read through this whole column, read the total, then come up here and read spring semester, the course and the number for the credits and go through each of these years in that kind of format. But we can't do that with this particular formatted PDF file. Let's look at the tags. If I click here on tag and then drop this down, you can see that I have found that this table is the problem. The whole document has been formatted as a table. So that isn't going to work for us. Thus, I need OmniPage. OmniPage is a software that I use to remediate PDF files that are a problem. When you open up OmniPage, you should find the Start page. I like to use it to load in PDF files. If you can't see this, then go over to the Window menu and select Start. Next, I navigate to the location of the PDF file, ACCT 2015-2016, and click the Open button. So here is the file. Once the file is open, I need to reorder the selection. If you remember, the file was built into a table format. We won't use table as our format. I will take the T tool, the text tool, and I will select the reading order as I want it to go. First, I select this section. Then I select freshman year, and then I select the fall term and the credits, including the total. And you notice that freshman year now merges with that. Next, I come over here to the plus and enlarge my screen a bit and scroll over so I can see the spring semester for freshman. Then I have to scroll back over, do sophomore year like this, and select the courses and the credits. I'm going to now select the spring term and scroll all the way over to get all the credits. And I'm going to pause the video at this point. So I've skipped ahead and marked up all the different passages. But I want to make sure the reading order is proper for this document. So I'm pointing at this tool that says Change Zone Order. And if I click on it, and then click here on the first passage, and then Freshman Year, Fall Term, Spring Term, Sophomore Year, Fall, Spring, Junior Year, Fall, Spring, the senior summary, senior year, fall, spring, and then finally this information down here. 
it will set that reading order to read like this. I click automatic and this OCR proofreading comes up complete. It had no spelling error so I click OK. Then finally I can come here to save to files. Click that button and it will allow me to type in a new file name. I'm saving it to my desktop as a text, as a PDF edited file. The formatting level is true page. So I click OK. When I complete that, I can then turn off OmniPage and I don't need to save the OmniPage document. And here's the old file in PDF and here's the new one we just created. So I open that up and we're going to take a look at whether we got the order that we wanted. The way to do that is to come over here to this icon and click content. It has this drop down and then it shows me it's one page and I drop down the one page and it shows me each line in the text. So the first line is there and then the second line is this freshman and then the text for the total there and then finally spring, sophomore year, and then their totals. And you can see it's showing me the path has been set to read in the order that I have wanted it to read, which is great. So we have accomplished what we need to do. If in fact something gets out of order, and sometimes it does, what you do is you find the text that you want. Say, for instance, this 315 is supposed to actually come up up here under sophomore year. You can just drag that text to the location where you want it and reset that order.